His deepening cyclone acted like a vast engine driving the severe weather. From the Gulf of Mexico, an unusually strong surge of warm, moist air pushed northward, flooding the Mississippi and Ohio River valleys with the fuel needed to power violent storms. At the same time, cold, dry air was descending from Canada, creating a sharp temperature contrast, a key ingredient in storm development. But what really set this event apart was the extreme wind shear. From the surface all the way up to the jet stream, wind speeds and directions shifted dramatically, generating the spin needed for supercell thunderstorms, the breeding ground of the most violent tornadoes. Radar and satellite imagery from April 3rd revealed a classic comma-shaped storm system, a signature of explosive weather setups. Forecasters using technology from the 1950s knew severe weather was likely, but they could not predict the sheer scale or intensity that was coming. So overwhelmed were 